Michael Kors will come in. Anyway, uh, a rock band. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty good, eh? I like it, I like it when, when, when Lee plays drums, a lot. And, and, um, why? You hit, you hit with passion. And, you know, I don't see drummers hit with passion like Lee. It's passionate, passionate guy. You're a very deep person. Not really. You are. What's that got to do with our live show? Oh, a live show. Um, it depends if they're light, if there's lights. There's some, like the red, the red looks good on me, but yellow just brings out my nose a little bit too much. And I've got a massive dong on my nose. There's a couple of them, but... But yeah, I guess that one. Oh no, Townsville is sweet. We got, we got paid a shitload of money to go to Townsville. And, we got this magic rider, and it was this massive, almost stadium-like venue, and there was like three people in there, and we just got disgustingly drunk, and we like left the stage to drink alcohol during our set. The guy that brought us over ended up getting the sack from it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we cost him his job. Good guy though. Yeah, he loves this. He's one of our friends. He's one of our friends. DJ Divot, check that shit out, man, because he can. He's got mad, mad moves on the decks. Good head as well. <laughs> I think he pumps like, I think he does like 120, 120 kilos, 120. he can do 120. Yeah. The fish and chips is a pretty like key part of like the diet. just hustle comedy in general. It's kind of the only um, restaurant that we can all eat at, I guess. We're having slightly taste in food, so you know, fish and chips. If it's cooked in corn seed, <laughs> vegetable oil, then everyone can eat that. We tried to get about 300 people down, but we got eight. We kind of... <laughs> <That was> good. <laughs> we, we kind of directed it ourselves, though. We, we, we wrote it ourselves and and, try and and worked all out and got our mates down and that kind of thing. But yeah, done for like a hundred bucks or something. And just we're friends with the people at the art house and they let us use it for the afternoon. And we had lunch there with our mates. And yeah, it was cool. Oh, wait, oh, wait. wore two shirts. It's supposed to look Double like... Double collars. A bit passe now. Good. But at the time, very cool. It was pretty sick. Yeah, but Stewie was wearing a V neck. Oh, V neck. <laughs> and now that wears V neck t-shirts. Is that in there? What? V neck. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like, if you get them like shirts that like have buttons that you take off to show off chest. Yeah. Yeah. But I definitely. Have chest. That's more if you got like a bit more of an ethnic vibe and you've got chest hair. And you've got a lot of chest hair. I am. It's a bit racist. A little bit. No, it's got nothing to do with what that is. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's racist. <laughs> It's not going on. Race is on the telly. And as long as all three of us like it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. We get to tour. We get to meet great people from Perth and other places too. And that's always fun. Don't get to do that if you're not into it. Yeah, that's fun is the most important part of it. Fun, yeah. Fun. And passionate drum hitting. <laughs> I saw BCE jacking each other off once. Yeah. That was pretty, <laughs> pretty crazy. Yeah. Garth, bad. mate, he has got... He's got a cannon. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he can't wear shorts. <laughs> they like, cannot wear shorts. I know, but that's one of their past toys. He has my size undies. <laughs> With BCE, because they jack each other off. It's, it's just one big maz fest with those guys. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Everyone's everyone's been pretty good. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've. We don't really have anyone that. We're just great people. There's no tours that have everyone. really been, that have really sucked. I mean, it's usually the Ataris. Okay. The Ataris are assholes. They won't do it. We... Yeah, they tried to lose. One of them tried to fight me. <laughs> seriously, did I tell you? Did I seriously not tell you this story? Is this a real story? I was at the, I was parking my car, and one of the Ataris guys and his girlfriends they started yelling at me to like reverse my car quicker or whatever. Like, got out of the car and sized up on me. 
Get your chest up too. He's not like you did. <laughs> yeah, he sized up. But I said sorry. He's <laughs> gone, him. Corked him. <laughs> Dead leg. <laughs> yeah, like no one, there's been no real tours where we haven't not enjoyed ourselves. At least from a little bit to a lot. Yeah. <laughs> It's cool. <laughs>